Okay, uh, good day ladies and gentlemen. So in this video we're going to look at some simple animations. Um, before we do that though, there's one or two little annoying things that people have been asking for that I'll show you how to fix in this video. So when I press play, if you look at my character you can see that his legs are actually underneath the platform as I move around. You see there's his legs there but they're appearing below the platform. And the reason for that is if you double click on your player, you have this button here, uh, this three three squares. Okay, so if your sprite looks like that, and then you click the three squares, you can see this polygon appears. This polygon is called the bounding box, and it's where Construct Three thinks your um, your sprite is. So whenever you do any kind of collision testing, what it's actually doing is testing against this blue box. And as you can see, the, the cat, my character's legs are outside of this blue box. So what we need to do is to just move the corners of this blue box to where my character should be. Just like that. Okay, so now Construct will know that this is the real shape of my uh, character. And when I close that and press play. Hey presto, now you can see my character's legs. Okay, the next thing that I've been asked about is how do you rotate the character so that he looks left and looks right depending on which way you're going. Um, so. There's a couple of different ways to do this. The easiest way to do this is to start with, we're just going to insert a new object. and We're going to insert a, a keyboard object. And this means now that we can track when the user is pressing different keys. And if I go to my event sheet, so if I go to my event sheet now, and I click on the keyboard, and I click next, and what I'm looking for is this on key pressed. So what we're going to trap is when the user presses a key. Okay, and the key we want to press is so I'm going to click to select the key, and then I'm just going to click my left arrow button. Okay, so when the user clicks the left arrow button, I want to add an action to the player, and I want to set mirrored to be true. Okay, so set mirrored on. Done. Then when I go to my keyboard and I go to add another one on key pressed, click to choose the key. This time I'm going to choose my right key and then press done and go back to my player. This time I'm going to set mirrored to be not mirrored. Okay, so when I press left, it's going to create a mirror image of my icon. And when I press right, it's going to undo that mirror image of my icon. And now hopefully, there's left, there's right. Happy days. Okay, but at the moment, my character is kind of moonwalk gliding across the platform. What we want to do is give him a little bit of motion. And to do that, we're going to use animations. Right, so the way we're going to create these animations, I'm going to go to my level one, I'm going to go to my character, and I'm going to double click on it. Now you can see that we've already got an animation called animation one. I'm just going to rename this animation to be idle. Okay, so this is the animation that we want to run whenever our character is just standing still. And the way that we're going to do it is we are going to, from our resource file, choose another icon. So I'm using the blue area, so I'm going to use alien. So I'm using alien blue. So I just dragged and dropped this second file in. It's going to ask me to import from files. So there's my, and then there's my second image, okay? And then the third thing I need to do is in my animation, so I need to click, make sure I've clicked idle, just click loop. 
Okay, so what that's going to do now, if I press, if I close that now, and now I press play, there's my little guy looking left and right. Okay, and there are plenty of properties that you can play with moving around the speed. Okay, but he's looking left and right, but as we walk around, he's still not really walking anywhere. So, what we want to do is create a new animation. So I'm going to open up my character again, I'm going to right click and add animation, and rename this to be walk, and then I'm going to go back to my resource file, and I'm going to drop a couple of different files in, and each time it's going to ask me do I want to import them. And I can see that I've got this empty frame at the beginning. I'm just going to delete that empty frame. So now I've got these three steps for my animation. So I'm going to click on the animation again and make sure I've clicked the loop. Okay. Now, the next thing we need to do is to tell the player that when you're moving, make sure you show the right animation. So I'm going to go to player, find the platform events and is moving, add action, player, and I want to now tell my player to start an animation. So there's the set animation equal to walk. Okay, and then when my player stops moving, so add an event for player, scroll down to is moving again, but what I want to do now is right click here and invert. So when my player is moving, set the animation to walk. When my player is not moving, set the animation, so click back on the player, and then click on set the animation to idle. Okay, so let me just go through that again. When my player is moving, set the animation to walk. When my player is not moving, set the animation to idle. So he's just looking around left and right, happy days. And now, as, I, as we go on for a little walk, off he goes walking. There you go, little player. Have a little walk, stretch your legs. Good. Okay, so that's some simple animations. You can build that into your game quite straightforward. And I look forward to seeing what you produce. Take care.